longer than expected, and we have to do what is needed. I spend my time helping out the prisoners. Being around these degenerates makes me ill. None of them even tries to face their punishment with any kind of dignity. They taunt me with their lies of innocence and their cowardly pleas of mercy. What can make a man fall so far from the grace of a civilized existence? They are all wicked men, and I remind myself of it constantly. Still, I am thankful for God sending these monsters our way, as they will serve as the instruments of my salvation. I try to study the different tools in the torture chamber and learn how to use them effectively. Last time was messy, and the effect suffered from my inexperience. When the next warding is to be performed, I shall be ready. are meant to hold prisoners who are under treatment. The people you send for will end up here. Remember that the confinement itself works as a preamble to the torture, and you should pace yourself. Don't take anyone before they are ready. Understood. Sounds from the torture chambers are shuttled in through those pipes in the ceiling. Manage your victims well, and let one prisoner's pain instill terror in his cellmate. Alexander really fighting, none else is Johann Heim. 
You never heard of Johann Raya? My god boy, he's probably the greatest man in history. And you don't know him? Or is it the world who has forgotten him? I was my pupil. My pupil. Yes, I do take pride in that fact. Is it so wrong? I found a Mithraim once. One which had not been plundered. Do you know Mithraises? Well, I suppose it doesn't matter. It is an old thing, building temples out of caverns. The Dark Walls being the universe. Inside are its followers, humans watching the sky slowly turn. But the followers do have one thing to allow them a real sense of connection, creation, the orbs. Good to see. Not many orbs are left. They sometimes consume themselves, or break, then used by an uninitiated. 